What's your poppin' everybody? It's your girl Anna again, coming at you with another makeup tutorial. And you know how we started off, we gotta put that hairband in our hair just to make sure all our hair is out of our face. <clears throat> I'm gonna be taking the AOA Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer. By the way, this is an affordable makeup tutorial. This primer costed $1, and I'm gonna repeat that one more time. It costed a singular dollar. Ooh, ooh, she's glowing, she's glowing. Make sure that you pat it into your skin to make it nice and sticky. And then I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, spray it with some Mario Badescu to get it ready for our foundation so my foundation is the wet and wild photo focus foundation in porcelain by the way it doesn't smell good that's why I just made that face basically I'm just gonna blend that out with my damp beauty blender next I'm gonna take <gasps> yo up eyelash adhesive instead of concealer because they look the same okay anyways so I'm gonna take the hey honey trick-or-treat concealer which at first it looks too dark and then I started to blend it in and I was like okay we can do this this is manageable so I guess I just decided to go for it next moving on to eyebrows by the way this is a train wreck my eyebrows are the worst thing out of this video I really thought that I loved this elf pencil it's just an eyebrow pencil in medium brown and I honestly thought that I really liked it because it's nice and creamy it's pigmented um until I realized that I'm so used to my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow that I honestly cannot use a pencil eyebrow product so it's also too dark for me another thing it's way too dark for me yeah see literally like I'm looking at myself and laughing because it's so bad so uh, literally the entirety of this eyebrow process was me cleaning up my eyebrows using that same concealer because it was so bad so <sighs> I don't know if you like stick eyebrow products, go for it, try it. I honestly do recommend it. However, for me, I'm definitely more of a dip brow person, even though I have fuller brows than some people. So again, still just cleaning it up because it, it was really, it was just really, really rough. It was not the eyebrow shape that I wanted. And honestly, throughout this whole video, like while I was editing it, I could not stop staring at my eyebrows because I was like, why? Now I'm just blending out that concealer just to make sure that everything is nice and clean. Next taking the Clinista powder in the fairest one. Um, look at me actually using a normal size face brush rather than like a tiny stinking blush. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild contour palette that I did hit pan on. Just taking that contour shade with my little flat elf brush. <laughs> Doing both sides, make sure that they even. Moving on to that jawline and then the forehead, even though I feel like I got a big head. I really do. I look back at my videos and I'm like, I got a big head. Anyways, we're just going to keep contouring. Next, blend it out with that flat top wet and wild brush. Swirl it. Um, when you blend your cheek contour, I recommend going up and out. Next is a Malibu Glitz blush. Again, this was a dollar. A dollar. I'm not playing when I tell you that Shop Miss A is where you get this stuff. It's so good. I cannot stress it enough. Pick up that Malibu Malibu, Malibu, ah! Malibu Glitz blush. They have so many of them and they are so beautiful and so pigmented and so natural and just... Oh, I can't go on about them enough. Okay, little hair clip. Next, moving on to highlight. Eh, eh, eh. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek, I think it is, in Lunch Money. It takes a little while to build up the shine that I really like. But honestly, for an affordable price, I am not going to complain. I think it is absolutely stunning. It's so soft. It feels a lot like the Wet Set by Kylie Jenner. So, Kylie, girl... You keep doing you, but just know that ColourPop is very affordable and you should probably lower your prices. Ugh. Next, we're moving on to eyes. I'm taking my e.l.f. eye primer, which I think is literally a dollar. A dollar. And I mean, I like it fine. It's not my favorite, but it definitely gets the job done, especially because I'm a college student. I have little to no money. For a long time, I had about 47 cents in my bank account. So then moving on to eyes, I'm going to take that e.l.f. Mad for Matte 1 palette, taking that cream shade and just setting the primer so that I have a really nice base, smooth, a uh, smooth base to work with. Base smooth. Now I'm going to be taking the third shade down, which is like this nice little chestnut color, popping that into my crease to add a little bit of dimension 
Um, I really only use about five brushes for my eyeshadow and the main one that I like to use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that came with my Modern Renaissance palette just because I think it's the perfect amount of fluff. So next moving on to the fourth shade which is a nice muted rose pink color and I'm just going to pop that into the crease again just to help to blend out those edges a little bit more, make sure that everything is not as harsh. Next I'll be moving on to the fifth color in there which is like a teddy bear brown color. I think it's super super cute. It reminds me a lot of, I believe the shade is literally teddy bear from the Violet Voss Pro Palette. Then I'm going to be taking the one right next to it. See how I'm kind of like working in a line there? I basically use like those five or six shadows. And I'm just going to be taking a smaller detail blending brush that I believe I got from Dolls something. But just taking that and adding it very lightly, very quickly. I don't know if the, the speed helps. Obviously it doesn't. But just a little tiny amount right into my crease and just blending it very in little tiny, tiny, tiny small strokes. Then I'm taking a blend of the third and fourth shade and running that under my lash line. Then I took the lighter shade, the second shade in the palette and I just cleaned up my little edges taking this LA Colors uh, little shimmer shadow thing in Precious highlighting my brow bone using the lightest shade in there. And then I also did the same thing in my inner corner. But then I'm going to be taking my finger and just running that bottom color along my lid on both eyes obviously then sweeping away any fallout that may have occurred then for mascara I am using the Ico black magic mascara I really like this it's pretty affordable you can find it in Ulta or wherever they carry Ico um, it's not the best mascara in the world, but it definitely gets the job done, and I really like how wet it is, because uh, a lot of mascaras that I have tried are pretty dry. Then I'm going to be taking my Ride or Die Lashes, Ride or Die, by AOA Studio in the style Alexis. They are a dollar, a singular dollar from shopmissay.com. I seriously recommend it. Then my lip gloss is uh, just an e.l.f. lip gloss in Bare. It has a little nice gold sheen to it. I think it's super pretty. And setting my face with our good friend Mario Badescu. And this is how I went from a poor crusty looking girl to a wealthy looking girl who did not spend a whole lot of money on her makeup because she didn't have to. And she's stunting and she's stunting. Wow. Honestly, self-love is everything. So, so that is it for the video today. Thank you so much. Kisses. Bye-bye.